In 1923, Birmingham artist Bernard Slay created an extraordinary map of Birmingham. It was based on records describing the town as it was in 1730, and Slay used his considerable skills to produce this incredibly detailed plan of early 18th century Birmingham. At the heart of the 18th century town is the imposing spire of St Martin's Church, where a church has stood for 600 years. Birmingham's business is conducted in the very shadow of St Martin's, with houses and market booths overflowing into the churchyard. The names of the narrow streets around the church reflect the trade that has carried on here since Saxon times. Cheaping is an old English word meaning simply market. So corn cheaping is where corn was sold. At the top of corn cheaping is the site of the original village green. Here there is a large iron ring in the ground where bulls are tethered and baited with dogs before being slaughtered. As well as being great entertainment, it's widely believed that the exertions of the bull make the meat more tasty. In the middle of the green are the butcher shops known as the shambles. Here the butchers slaughter the bulls and carve them up in full view of any unfortunate person who happens to be passing. Next to the shambles is the market cross, also known as the high or butter cross. The governing body of the town meet in the chamber above, while country women sell eggs and butter in the shade below. The building at the entrance to New Street is the toll booth, where traders coming to do business in Birmingham's markets pay their tolls and goods are inspected. It also serves as a makeshift jail, where prisoners are incarcerated in the cellar. The name New Street is a little misleading, as it's existed since at least the 14th century. Swan Alley is the site of one of the town's oldest pubs, the Swan. In 1731, Nicholas Rothwell started a stagecoach service from the Swan to London via Warwick, Banbury and Aylesbury. The journey was scheduled to take two days, but such is the state of the roads that Mr Rothwell's advert carries the proviso if God permit. The rotunda now stands on the site of the swan. 